this short video is going to show you how you can add a secondary or even a third or fourth or fifth email address to a user's email account in Exchange 2010. Prior to starting the screencast, I have remoted into my Exchange server and made sure that I logged on as an administrator with credentials to make changes in the Exchange organization. I then opened up the Exchange Management Console, which is usually located under the Start menu. Here it's uh, right under my uh, quick list here, but it might be under Programs, uh, Microsoft Exchange Server, Exchange Management Console for you. So the Exchange Management Console is open. I'm going to expand the Microsoft Exchange on-premises. I'm going to go into the recipient configuration, and I'm going to select Mailbox. You see when I do, this is a test server, so it only has a few users on it. Your Exchange server likely has a lot more users than this. I'm going to go ahead and double-click the user that I want to add a secondary email address to. Once I'm in this panel, I'm going to click on Email Addresses on the tab. And you can see there are already a couple of email addresses listed. The one that's in bold is what's called the Reply To email. It used to be called the default email address, but this is the address that people see as the reply address when a message is sent. You only can have one reply email address. So um, that will be your default. But if you wanted to add another email address, it's just as simple as typing add. Just remember that your email addresses can't have spaces in them. So you type the email address. It has to be from the same domain that messages are already being sent to your email server on. But you can make the first part of it whatever you want. And you click OK. If you wanted to make that new email address the default or the reply to email address, you would have to select set as reply. Just like that, and click OK, and you are done. You have just created a secondary email address for the same user. You can then leave that old email address in their account or make a note for yourself a month or two later if you're transitioning, like if somebody uh, takes a new name when they get married and they want the old email address to stay in use but use the new email address for a period of time you could leave that set as long as you'd like thanks this has been Chris Sosnowski from BMW Control Systems Integration